Max, I'll start with you. Is Mike Tomlin underachieving? No. Is Mike Tomlin underachieving? Did, is he the reason they lost? If you need to point to one culprit in a team sport, there are a million factors. But is he most to blame? Yeah, sure. And I argued that on this show. Does that mean he underachieved in one game this season? Yes, yeah, sure, I suppose so. But does that mean that he's underachieved as head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers? Of course not. What is the standard? Do you need to win a Super Bowl? Well, Mike Tomlin has done that. He's won a Super Bowl. Should you be in contention every year? That's what Mike Tomlin does. They always win more than they lose. I mean, a terrible season for them is 8-8. Eight and eight. It almost never happens. They, they almost always win more than they lose. They almost always advance in the playoffs. They're almost always seen as a threat or are in the AFC championship game advancing in the playoffs. Last three seasons, they've been in the divisional round. I mean, by the way, they won 13 games this year. So is he underachieving? Let's be honest about this, guys. The first time we looked at them in the last five or six years and said that team could win a Super Bowl. That may, may have an historically great offense was last season, not this past one, the season before. And what happened? Martavis Bryant suspended for the season, and then in the game they need him most, Le'Veon Bell's not there. That's what happened. And Shazier, their best defensive player, is not available this season. Now, if you say, well, look, the Patriots can win without Gronk or advance without Gronk, and that's not an excuse. That's right. Mike Tomlin is not now, nor will he ever be as great as Bill Belichick, the greatest by far who ever did it. But who else would trade with the Pittsburgh Steelers May, over the last five, ten years? Maybe the Seahawks? Okay, so Pete Carroll, we are talking about the – so Bill Belichick in a class by himself, and who's in that next tier? Pete Carroll, Mike Tomlin, maybe one or two others, maybe. Mike Tomlin is an absolutely – Elite head coach. It's not just about play calling and adjustments. That's part of the game. And he could be better. That onside kick was atrocious. I don't care the fact that he's defending it. I believe he is wrong. I know he'll, he's forgotten more football than I'll ever know. But I think that's pretty straightforward common sense. He was wrong there. And, and the execution was bad. That does fall on the coach. But a coach is much more than just the sum of his play calls on the field or decision making in crunch time. That's part of it. But a lot of it is... Do you, can you get the pieces to play together? Can you overcome adversity? Do they want to play for you? The answer across the board with Tomlin is yes, yes, yes. And almost any team, with the exception of the Patriots, would take Mike Tomlin as their head coach and be glad to have him. He has not underachieved. Max Kellerman, I hate to say this to you, and it's shocking coming from me, but you're absolutely wrong. Um, you know, he has underachieved. And guess what? Guess who'd be the first to tell you? Mike Tomlin. Because the standard is Super Bowls, and that's really what this comes down to. Now, does he deserve to be fired? That's utterly ridiculous. Anybody that's campaigning for that, is, they're new fools. I mean, this guy wins 65% of his games. He's like 116 and 60 in his 11 years as head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers. We understand what he brings to the table from a motivational perspective, from an accountability <laughs> perspective, and the record speaks for itself in terms of going out there every year and doing the best that you can to put your team in contention. So nobody's up here advocating that Mike Tomlin should be fired by any stretch of the imagination. As far as I'm concerned, he's a coach that should be able to coach where he wants outside of New England, as far as I'm concerned, and that's really what this comes down to. But the question is, has he underachieved? Yes, he has, because on at least several occasions over the last several years since they won the Super Bowl in 2010, Mike Tomlin has had a team that should have ended up Super Bowl champions, and that simply was not meant to be. You have a star quarterback in Big Ben Roethlisberger. You have one of the best wide receivers in Antonio Brown. You have one of the best running backs in football in Le'Veon Bell. At one time or another, it's been debatable whether or not Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell is the absolute best at their respective positions in all of football. When you have those requisite weapons available to you and constantly you're, on, you're looking up at the New England Patriots, that's very, very problematic because even though Big Ben Roethlisberger is not Tom Brady, you know what? He ain't Nick Foles. Ben Roethlisberger is a two-time Super Bowl champion, a future Hall of Famer himself. And so when you look at the parts that they have available to them, the fact that you continuously come up short is a problem, especially when the same reason is why. It's rare that we've been able to look at the Steelers' offense and say that's the reason they've lost. Consistently, we've been looking at their defense coming up short year after year after year after year. You're the man in charge. You're the guy that the buck stops with you. Everybody has to be held accountable to you, assuming upper management is not getting in his way and forcing him to pick coordinators that he doesn't want. So I'm not going to sit up here and tell you that the great Mike Tomlin who's my favorite coach, and I love him dearly, I'm not going to tell you that he should be fired. 
That's ridiculous. His record doesn't mandate that. But Mike Tomlin has very high standards for himself. Yeah, sure. And they're usually in with a sure. Super Bowl, and it hasn't lived up to it. 